Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. And then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links for all of those are below. Um, readings can be vice versa, flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away two four-question text readings, hashtag reading for that. I give away two $50 prizes. Just post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for in the comment section below with a green heart to win that. Um, and I'm giving away one mystery crystal box, hashtag crystal for that, okay? Happy birthday, my beautiful babies. For cancer baby season, I have Spirit Shield Tarot. That is 60% off on my website. Oh, and I'm also giving away one of these decks for free So uh, every month. So hashtag tarot, okay, for that. Um, but if you would like to purchase it, it's 60% off on my website. Um, we've got crystal mystery boxes here that are uh, $22.22. You get quite a few crystals um, for that amount. And I've got pre-recorded video readings that are 20% off, okay? As of right now, I'm only open for text readings. Um, I'm booked out for phone readings. Text readings, you get your answers uh, pretty quickly, okay? Within a 24-hour period of time. Um, if it's through WhatsApp, you get a short video of the answer to your question. And if it's through text, you get a picture and a voice note of the answer to your question, okay? My cell phone number is below and all that info is below. Royal Rose Oracle is back in stock. You can find it on my website, okay? All right, my love. So we're going to do a reading and then I'm going to do a nice juicy cancer and all 12 signs at the end, okay? All right, so let's get popping here and let's see what we have for my cancer babies, please. Tell me about cancer please what messages do we have here for my cancer babies cancer sun moon rising and venus so we've got dominant in the reverse we've got religious we've got feminine and we've got apology here we've got time and we've got transformation. So Cancer, there is, there is uh, someone coming towards you here wanting to tell you that basically like they found Jesus, <laughs> okay? Or basically like I've grown, I've ascended. Uh, someone is coming back around towards you, okay? Uh, wanting to tell you that they have found God or they have found their spirituality or wanting to tell you that they're a better person now. This person is wanting to, they feel like you have healed from what was done, but they're putting on this, this, I want to say they're putting on a show, but I mean, I don't know if they really have done this or not as of yet, but they want to kind of tell you that they have uh, found religion, found God, or found their spirituality, you know? With dominant in the reverse, I think that this is somebody that wants your forgiveness, Cancer. But what do they say? You get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar, right? So this is not someone that wants to come towards you in a forceful way. What they want to do is make you feel like they are, you know, very spiritual and high vibing. Okay. That's how this person wants to make you feel. Okay. I do feel here that you have someone that's just staring that you're, this person is just staring down the divine feminine. Like, um, a very, like they can't stop looking at this feminine energy. I feel like this person maybe wants to force this. They want to force this, but they're playing this role of 
I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm a good person now. I found, you know, I found Jesus. I found my spirituality. I'm, I'm, I'm connected to spirit. I'm connected to the universe. Um, I, I do feel like this person wants to kind of force this. They're used to being maybe a very controlling person, but they're, they're playing this role. Okay. We've, okay. We've got distant future. We've got gold digger. And we've got narcissist. Yeah. So, so cancer, what you have here is a narcissistic energy that is slipping into one of their masks. Okay. What this person is used to is playing with people's minds, getting them trauma bonded, um, love bombing type of energy. But this is someone that knows that they need to switch up their game if they're going to get you back. And this person wants you back, Cancer, because they want something out of you. Because they want something out of you. You see, we've got codependent here. This is a very abusive person. Um, this is someone that is very good at trauma bonding people and making people cling to them. Uh, this is someone that likes to play God, you know, God giveth, God taketh away. You know, they love bomb people, then they take it away. But they're not doing that with you, Cancer, maybe because you're so accustomed to it by, by now that they know that you're not going to fall for it again. So this is someone that wants to come in basically telling you that they found Jesus or that they found Allah or Buddha or uh, the universe or spirit, you know, that, that they've really connected to spirit and that they're a better person now. Now with codependent here in Gold Digger, it could be cancer that we're dealing with somebody that, um, you know, is in need. Okay. Maybe this person is losing their house. Maybe they've lost their job. Maybe they've lost their car. Uh, maybe they need someone with a good credit score. I don't know. Okay. But they're, they're in need in some way, shape or form. And because you're independent, because you have your ducks in a row, now they want to come in and tell you that you're the one, but they are doing this for selfish reasons. And even worse, cancer, they're pissed and spiteful and bitter that they even have to do this because they're in need. They're, they're, they're pissed off that they're just not in control of the situation because normally they'd be able to come towards you, just love bomb you and you would be putty in their hands. But I think that what happened here, Cancer, with this time and transform card, it could be that this is a narcissist that actually discarded you and gave you a tremendous amount of time to heal from this and now you've changed and now you've changed and they know that they can't just come in with the same song and dance okay they can't just come in with the same song and dance all right spirit tell me about cancer please now another thing i want to say here cancer is with this distant future card I feel like when they come back around, they are going to wait a little while before they show their true colors that, you know, they're using you for money. So this is a reconciliation that could potentially take place. And it seems really amazing for quite some time until the mask falls off. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. We've got the three of swords. And we've got the five of cups. The knight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Uh, Cancer, I think that what this person is going to do is they're going to come towards you and tell you that a third party broke their heart or that they are heartbroken without you. Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles, okay? This person could also be telling you that they're going through some type of hard time, that they're shattered, a lot of crying here and emotion when it comes down to this person. The Knight of Pentacles can talk about a long overdue apology. It's been a long time since you've been around this person, but Cancer with this Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, they're in need. 
this person is going to put up this victim pity party, woe is me thing to get you to feel bad for them um, because they need something here. They need something. The high priestess and the devil. This is somebody that is coming off as very wise and very spiritual. Um, the high priestess is a representation of somebody that sits in a very wise spiritual energy, okay? Uh, when in reality, with the devil here, this is just a wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? Capricorn energy, Pisces energy. This is just a wolf in sheep's clothing. They have ulterior motive and their ulterior motive is to use you for something. Now, Cancer, please keep in mind that this could be a friend or a family member. It doesn't have to be romantic, okay? We've got the Page of Swords here, and we've got the Nine of Swords. Uh, Cancer, this person's really going to put up a show. Okay, I'm telling you right now, this is someone that's even going to show you proof. Look, I'm about to lose my house or look, I got the final notice that this, this and that. Like someone here is really going to even show you that they're not playing, that they're really in need. They're going to come off as, they're going to come off as very honest. Queen of Cups, this person wants to try. They know that maybe they can't manipulate you the way they did before. You see with the world card, they know that you've learned your lesson, but this person's not stupid. They still know that you have a mushy, gushy, gooey center, okay? You may not be as easy to manipulate or trauma bond because you've, learned, you've been down that road, you've learned that lesson, but you still have a big heart, Cancer, and they know it. And this person knows it. King of Swords, the man with the plan. You see that this person's not stupid. They know you. They're sticking their toe in the water to see where you're at mentally, emotionally. Um, and they can automatically pick up on the fact that manipulating you or trying to mess with your head is not going to work. But your heart still is what it is. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Cancer, you could have a soul tie with this person, but I think that this is one of those soul ties that is meant to teach you a lesson. It's not meant to be a forever thing. So you see the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups and the Magician, this is the card that I'm going to play, okay? The Magician has all four suits on the table. They've got the pentacle, they've got the cup, they've got the sword, they've got the uh, wand. Okay, so what this person is doing is they're putting their feelers out. Uh, what card do I need to play? Do I need to play the wand where cancer wants to communicate? And, uh, you know, would, would sex get, would sex be what gets me into cancer's heart and head? No, that's not it. Ace of Swords, uh, me taking a lot of action, being brutally honest, or, um, you know, planning future faking, planning for the future. Is that going to get me where I want to be? No, that's not it. You know, Pentacle, uh, I, I can show up every day and be consistent, but I don't really have any money to drop on cancer, so that's out of the way. Uh, the cup is what's left. The cup is emotion. If I really show cancer a lot of emotion, okay, that will get me the reconciliation that I want. Sorry, guys. That will get me the reconciliation that I want. I do feel, Cancer, that with the Queen of Wands and the Lover's card here with the Four of Cups, that this individual is pushing away a third-party energy just to, it's, it's a show, okay? This third-party energy is contacting your person. Hey, do you want to go out tonight? Hey, where have you been? And you're, this person, this King of Swords energy is answering this Queen of Wands back saying, listen, don't talk to me right now. I'm talking to Cancer. I'm trying to be loyal. I'm trying to be faithful. And then they're taking screenshots and sending it to you. And saying, look, you know, nine of cups, because this person wants you to feel special. They want you to feel happy. They want you to feel like uh, they're, they're, they're cutting out third-party energies to be with you. 
This person wants you to feel important, okay? They they want you to feel important. So they're just choosing some random side piece that they had and making this big show to this side piece over, uh, no, listen, you know, cancer is my everything and we're reconciling. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, no, no. You know, I only want cancer. And then they're they're screenshotting it see the hanged man they they want to show you that they're leaving people on red okay we've got the eight of swords here and the hanged man cancer what the you know what's crazy here i think that you know i i think that you kind of have this feeling that something isn't quite right but you can't put your finger on it because you don't have the proof but with the hanged man here it's like you kind of want to go slow um, because you don't want to waste your time just to find out this isn't real. Uh, the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, Cancer, this is someone that's coming back with a whole new vibe. They're coming back as loyal, committed, kind, caring. Uh, the Four of Pentacles, very uh, jealous and possessive of you, telling you that they never want to let you go. With the Four of Swords here and the Hierophant and the Star, telling you that they they want to settle down. They don't ever want to be without you again, that they want to work on a future with you. Taurus energy, Pisces energy, Gemini energy, um, Virgo energy. So yeah, guys, I mean, this is somebody that like, they, they really want you to believe that they have changed and they are serious and they are serious. Okay. With the Queen of Swords, Cancer, your warning here is, is to not get caught up in the hype. Ask questions. See through the facade. With the Four of Wands here and the Five of Pentacles, I feel like this is someone that is trying to get into the door of your house, your home, and your life to take something with you with the Five of Pentacles. Now, Cancer, another thing I want you to take note on is that this person may not come towards you and immediately tell you that they're in need. What did I just say? The Moon card. They may not immediately tell you that they're broke. They may not immediately tell you that they've got no place to live. They may not immediately tell you that they've been sleeping from one couch to the next. They may not want to put themselves in a weaker position. They may come across as the king of pentacles where their life is fine and everything is hunky-dory. And that's it. You know, when in reality, this person does need you. They need something from you. Tell me more about this situation for cancer. We've got the six of wands. And we've got the King of Wands. Cancer, this is a very cocky and arrogant person, okay? This is somebody that um, could potentially be very good looking, or this is somebody that it's like they're the type of person that when they give you attention, you feel like you're glowing. You feel like you're on, cl on cloud nine. This person's very passionate. They're very loving. They're very kind and caring. This is someone that with the eight of pentacles goes above and beyond to really make you feel like you are loved and cared for, okay? But Spirit is saying... Nine of Wands here with the Knight of Cups. Proceed with caution because this is going to end badly. And that is the truth. Okay? And that is the truth. Proceed with caution because this is going to end badly. Things ended with a Ten of Swords with this person. And what you're doing by inviting this person back into your life is reopening that door with the Ace of Swords. We're starting with sword number one and then it'll be sword number two and sword number three. And before you know it, you're in double the pain that you were in the first time because you trusted this person again. And let me tell you, Cancer, it's going to be very difficult for you to get rid of this. You know why? Because even though mentally or intuitively or emotionally you have a feeling that something isn't right, at face value, at face value, it's like you'll, you're you going to have no argument. If you tell this person, listen, I think we should take it slow. I don't really trust you. Well, what have I done? What have I done? 
since I've been back, haven't I showed you that I'm completely changed and this amazing angelic being? What have I done to make you feel that way? Tell me what I've done and I will change it. And you're sitting there like, well, no, I mean, you haven't really done anything. You've been kind of amazing, actually. Like, this has been great, but something just feels off. Well, what feels off? And I will I will take care of it. I will do whatever I have to do to make you feel safe, my cute little schnookums pumpkin, the love of my life, a gorgeous, beautiful beauty, love. Okay, what do I need to do to make you feel better about it? You know? So it's going to be very difficult to weasel your way out of this because they're not exactly giving you a reason, okay? It's, it's not as easy as them sabotaging the connection as before and you just, you know, walking your own way. Now it's kind of, it's making you look a little bit like you just don't want things to work or it's making you a little uncomfortable because you come out of this kind of looking like the bad guy. Like, oh, this could be so amazing and I've changed and I'm giving you everything you want. How could you not want me, you know? But Cancer, this person does not have positive intentions. We've got the Page of Cups, we've got the Seven of Pentacles, and we've got the Nine of Pentacles. Cancer, this person remembers you as being very financially stable, very financially abundant, with your heart on your sleeve, and very quick to give. I think what is going to come as a surprise to this person is that not just with them, because the seven of wands, there's six other people here, not just with them, but with anyone that asks you for favors, you say no, because we got the seven of swords and the seven of cups. Um, if this person thought that they were the only person in the world that was ever smart enough to take care of, you know, to take advantage of your kind nature. Yeah, no, that's not a thing. Okay, you've experienced many people, friends, family members, love interests that took advantage of your kind nature. And I think that cancer, not just with this person, but overall as a decision for yourself, you stopped that giving nature. And I think that's what's going to that's what's going to shock this person when they realize that you're not the same person that they left behind. Okay. You may still be independent and doing well for yourself and everything, but you're quick with the word no now. You know, you're quick with the word no. You're not as giving and kind as you used to be. And th they were not expecting this. This puts a wrench in their plans, okay? Um, and you will come to find that with the Five of Swords, they will eventually sabotage the connection and leave because what they're doing is <clears throat> they're thinking about how to get a chunk of change out of you, how to get money out of you, uh, you know, making you believe A, B, C, and D uh, just to get you to kind of cough up some money or get them to, to move in with you maybe. <clears throat> but you're not at that place. You don't want anyone living with you. You have made a pact to yourself maybe. I don't want to live with anyone unless I'm married or engaged, okay? It's like you're very good on your own right now with the Nine of Pentacles. You're not maybe sitting in an energy of desperation the way you were the last time you got together with this person, but you don't really want anyone in your house. You don't really want to lend people money. You don't really care. Like there may have been a time where you were the type of person of, oh my God, you need a car. You lost a car. Okay, well, let's go get you a car. Okay, there may have been a time that you were that person or, uh, oh, you lost your job. You're thinking about starting a business. Okay, well, let me go ahead and help you. Let me let me get the information on helping you start a business, okay? Um, oh, you, you're, you, you got your license revoked because you don't have car insurance. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and get that taken care of. I'll make all the phone calls for you. Now you're like, I don't give a shit about none of this. I don't know why we're talking about this. I don't, I don't care about your car situation. I don't care about your car insurance. I don't care. Uh, you know, are we, where are we going to eat tonight? Like, yeah, you just want to keep your life simple. You're, you're not out to talk about other people and their problems. Okay. Uh, this is just like, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, are we going out to eat tonight or what, you know, um, you're not really, you don't get, uh, this could be an Aries or a Scorpio or an Aquarius, also Taurus energy here. So, I, I mean, it's just an energy of them being kind of shocked 
that you're not, you know, you used to be, you're a retired Captain save -a here, Cancer, okay? You have retired. You're done. You're tired. You're, you're, you just don't care about people and their problems. And they are seeing that it's not just with them. It's with everybody. Okay, they're watching you say no to friends, to family, to your kids, you know, and they're realizing like, shit, I was not expecting this. You know, I was expecting if I come back around to cancer with the same old song and dance that they would deny me. And I had this great plan to come back as this amazing spiritual person that, you know, uh, that, you know, cancer would maybe give me a chance. And maybe you do, cancer. And for those of you that do give this a chance, for those of you that do give this a chance, this person is going to be extremely shocked because you're not the same person that they left behind. So even if they can get through your doors, they can't get through uh, the, the boundaries that you have put up, the healthy boundaries that you have put up to heal yourself, okay? All right, loves. So let's go ahead and do cancer and all 12 signs. Um, we're going to make this a little juicy, okay? Spirit, tell me about cancer and all 12 signs. Aries to Pisces, please. Tell me about cancer and Aries. Cancer and Aries, please. So we've got divorce and then we've got defensive. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, and look, we've got separation under the deck. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, there could be an energy here of um, you dealing with an Aries that's in separation. Uh, they're supposed to be filing for a divorce, but they're not. Or Cancer, if you're still married to somebody and you were supposed to be filing for a divorce, um, there's there's a little bit of a defensive energy here of, you know, I, I think that someone is saying, well, why haven't you filed for the divorce yet? And someone's getting defensive and saying, well, I haven't filed because of this or that. It's all, There's an energy here of someone being tired of waiting. Like, I'm tired of your excuses. I'm tired of, uh, you know, waiting for you to file for this divorce. And I think that the excuse here is, oh, it'll be too hard. We have to do this. We have to do that. And this is taking forever. So Cancer, I know this is a little specific with Aries, but there's definitely an energy here of someone's intuition saying like, this isn't right. This is taking too long. You know, six of swords here with the ace of cups. Yeah. So Cancer, this could be this could be an energy of, you know, you leaving the Aries behind to pursue something new because it's taking too long. Or it could be that what's happening is this Aries wants to keep you a secret. They want to keep you a secret saying, listen, I'm not legally divorced yet. Let's just keep this on the DL. They're telling you that they want you, that they love you, that they want something new with you. But with the six of cups and the five of cups and the two of cups and the four of wands, what this person is actually doing is they're procrastinating cancer because they're trying to save their marriage and their relationship. They're trying to sun card the star card here and the knight of cups, this person and the six of wands and the emperor. And I think they're going to succeed. So cancer, what this person is doing is they're stringing you along, making you believe that they're just in separation with whoever their ex is, but they're not actually filing for a divorce or they're not actually putting a final nail in a coffin. Okay. Let's just say there's not a legal divorce here. This could look something like your person has left some really big things at their ex's house, very important things. And this ex keeps calling your person saying, well, why didn't you, why aren't you picking up this stuff, right? And Cancer, you could be asking the Aries, like, why don't you go pick up this stuff so you don't have to communicate with your ex anymore? There's a reason why they're leaving things at their ex house. They don't want to stop that communication. This person is still wanting reconciliation okay so cancer if you're caught up in that dynamic just know that you know they are stringing you along okay they are stringing you along all right so let's see what else we have here for cancer and taurus please spirit tell me about cancer and taurus please cancer oh 
Cancer and Taurus. Oh, we got defensive that came out again. Cancer and Taurus. Okay, so we've got defensive with shadow here. Cancer, I think that between you and the Taurus, you were meant to catapult this Taurus into a dark night of the soul. This person feels attacked by your honesty. You force this Taurus to acknowledge who they really are, okay? This Taurus could be sit in a very toxic and abusive energy. They promise heaven but deliver only hell. And you're forcing this person to realize, you know what kind of vibe I get here? That someone uh, believes they are the shit when they're not. Does that make sense? Like they, they believe that they're there, this amazing guy or girl or whatever, but it's their ego. It's in their head. They don't actually perform those actions of being a great guy and a great girl. And I feel that cancer, you were brought into this person's life to be brutally honest. Um, you know, this person thinks that they're a whole, you know, dime piece and you're just sitting there like, I, what are you talking about? You don't do anything. Like, what do you, what do you do? Like, you don't, you don't do anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're, you're making, you're hyping yourself up, making you think that you're this great guy or great girl, but yeah, you're not though. Like, you know, you're not though. Um, and I feel like you're, that you're catapulting this individual into a dark night of the soul. We've got the full card. We've got the world card. We've got the moon card. We've got the hermit. Cancer, you've got one, two, three, four major arcana here. If another one comes out, oh my gosh. And the six of pentacles. So Cancer, four major arcana, that is life-changing. That is some deep shit there, okay? Um, this is an energy of you closing out a cycle in this Taurus's life and set them on their correct uh, spiritual path. The moon card and the hermit, definitely dark night of the soul, definitely reflecting on the shadow, definitely doing the soul searching, okay? With the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Two of Wands, there could potentially be an energy on your part where you get upset that this person has not fought for you or this connection, that they've chosen someone else, but that's actually not true, Cancer. This Taurus is just going through it. They're reflecting on all those brutally honest things that you've told them. With the Hierophant here and the Hanged Man, Cancer, I do feel, and the King of Cups, I do feel like this Taurus does still harbor a tremendous amount of love for you, but they're kind of controlling themselves emotionally uh, while they set out on this new spiritual journey. Spirit is saying, just wait. With the Ace of Pentacles here and the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles, this will come back together, okay? It will come back together. This is your divine counterpart part you do have a divine soul contract with this person but your purpose in their life was to catapult them into a dark night of the soul and um and spirit is saying just hang in there they will be back okay all right let's see what we have for cancer and gemini cancer and gemini please so we've got mystery and we've got autumn and we've got submissive. So Cancer, there is a Gemini here that may be coming forward in the fall. This Gemini is under the assumption that when they give you attention, that you're just going to melt at the knees. They're under this impression that when they give you in, uh, attention, that you are just going to turn, your, your panties are just going to melt right off, okay? That you're just going to turn to putty in their hands. 
This could be a Gemini that does have intentions to marry you or they, they, you could be married to this person, or it could be that this is a Gemini that has just made their decision and they feel like you are the one that they want to settle down with. And they may be like calling you like it's a favor to you. Like, yeah, I'm back and I want to get married. Like I choose you. You know, I don't know how you're going to take that, but it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit like, what? You know, I don't know. This person, it's just like they think that they're, this Gemini thinks that they're gracing you with their presence. Okay. Let's see here. Tell me about cancer. We have the seven of cups. We've got the four of pentacles. We've got the eight of pentacles. We've got the devil. And we've got the moon card. Cancer, I have to be honest. I think that you're going to look at this Gemini like they've got seven heads. Okay? I think that you're going to look at this Gemini like they're freaking insane. Um, this is someone that had no interest in commitment. This is someone that with the seven of cups, either they wanted to keep their options way open or their friends were more important. Their family was more important. Um, now they're coming up with this vibe of... Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, all of a sudden they want to work things out. They want to compromise. They're going to lay down some rules. They want you to agree to everything. I want you. I don't want to let you go. The Devil and the Moon card. Are you insane? I don't know what kind of issues you have, but have you lost your mind? You know, I, I think that Cancer, it's like you got this Gemini coming back around towards you, laying down the law like they are God's gift to creation and that you should be falling at your knees because they've decided to grace you. Yeah, we got the world card. You, you're definitely over this, okay? We've got the King of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's going to hurt their ego. It's going to hurt their ego because you're like, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, you're like, I don't, I don't even give a shit about you anymore. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I, I don't think that you care about this Gemini anymore. And I think that by the time they come back around to you and say, this is it. I, I don't, you know, I choose you. I dubbeth you my queen or king. You're going to be like, what? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. It's like this is Gemini has a very high, very arrogant ego. Like, you know, you're supposed to swoon at the fact that they're coming back, uh, wanting to talk to you or work things out with you or communicate with you in some way. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have here. If you're dealing with another cancer spirit, tell me about cancer dealing with another cancer, cancer dealing with another cancer. Okay. So we've got love, we've got career and we've got apology. Okay. Cancer, this could be a, a coworker if you're dealing with another cancer. Or cancer, if you're dealing with another cancer, uh, this could be someone coming towards you and saying, listen, I know we work together, but I really want to be with you. Cancer, if you're dealing with another cancer, either you or your person is very career driven, is very career driven. And there may be arguments about this, but I don't feel like it's going to break the connection. Like maybe someone here is going to college or focusing on opening a new business or very goal oriented. And even though you guys may argue over this, you know, you guys always maybe come back together and apologize. We have the nine of cups. We've got the justice card. We've got the empress. We've got the emperor and we've got the three of cups. Yeah. So cancer, I think that your life with this other cancer is just very stressful. I think that you and this person are very goal oriented people. And I think that, you know, even though you guys love each other tremendously, life gets in the way sometimes and there could be some aggravation and I, I don't see it breaking apart your connection. I do feel that with the Nine of Cups and the Justice card, you guys always come back together. You're fair. You compromise. You talk things out. And that is what ultimately 
is going to turn you guys into a badass boss bitch, boss daddy power couple, okay? With temperance here, there is maybe an energy with the page of swords and temperance of focusing a little bit more on work-life balance, making that agreement that like once every two weeks, you guys have to have a date night. You know, it's going to be the, those type of conversations, okay? All right. Uh, if we're dealing with a Leo, tell me about cancer and Leo. Oh, that went flying. Hang on one second, guys. Apology popped out, but I don't know if it's in the reverse or the upright, but I guess we'll take it. Tell me about cancer and Leo, please. Cancer and Leo. Third party. And abusive. All right, I just had a, a couple things that have come to mind here. Cancer, if you're dealing with a third party, excuse me, if you're dealing with a Leo, there may be someone on this Leo's side that is doing something to hurt you and this leo wants to apologize they could have a friend or a family member that's really mean to you and this this person is going to maybe force this individual to apologize to you apology came out in the reverse initially cancer so maybe this individual doesn't want to apologize to you but i think that this leo is going to make sure that they do Or cancer, if you've been dealing with a Leo, this person has been cheating and they've been mistreating you because they were cheating and now your person is regretting that, okay? Spirit, tell me about cancer and Leo, please. Cancer and Leo. So we've got the chariot. We have the death card. We've got the justice card. We've got the three of swords and we've got the king of cups. Okay, so Cancer, one thing I can tell you about this Leo is that this Leo is definitely going to, th things are going to change here. They're definitely going to start making the right decisions. You've got three major arcana out of five cards, okay? They're definitely going to start making decisions where you are treated fairly and correctly, with the Three of Swords here and the King of Cups, whoever this third party person is, is going to need to control themselves. Because with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, Cancer, this Leo is putting their foot down and saying, listen, I'm in love with Leo. I'm staying. Someone here may have a very loud car or motorcycle. There's a, a car that just started next door and it's revving its engine. So someone here may have a loud car. So Cancer, if you're dealing with a Leo, there's almost this energy of, listen, you're going to have to accept it. It is what it is. Cancer is my person and, and you need to either apologize or fuck all the way off and that's it. Okay. I feel like Cancer, this Leo is very apologetic that they allowed a third party to hurt you, whether it was a friend or a family member or a romantic. Like, I'm sorry I, I, I listened to these people. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm sorry I didn't defend you or I'm sorry I didn't choose you. Um, so Cancer, if, do you hear that car going off? Someone here, this Leo may have a loud car possibly. Um, but Leo, the uh, cancer, the Leo is definitely out to defend you. Okay. Um, spirit, tell me about Virgo, please. What do we have here for cancer and Virgo, please? Cancer and Virgo. Okay. So we've got home. We've got messages and we've got gold digger. Okay. So cancer, there could be a Virgo here that wants to move in with you. There could be a Virgo here that sees where you live 
and they're like, oh shit, I want a piece of this pie. Okay. Um, there could be a Virgo here that's jealous over what you have. You know, they come over to your house or something and, and they want to be a part of it. This person may see your home as warm and cozy and loving. Um, with Gold Digger here, Cancer, this could be somebody that wants to be with you to be a part of what you have. Okay. Uh, because they want what you have or they want to be a part of what you have. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Nine of Cups. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the King of Pentacles. We've got the Knight of Swords and the Hanged Man. Yeah. So Cancer, this is someone that's going to want to move very fast because with the Nine of Cups, you have something that they want. Okay, you have something that they want. Like, let's just say this person loves really bougie shit, okay? And you just happen to, you know, have a condo on, you know, in Hollywood Beach in Florida overlooking the ocean, okay? Or or you've got a really nice flat in Manhattan or something, I don't know. Or if this person likes to live out in the country, you, you, uh, you know, rent or own a house that sits on two acres, okay? Like, whatever you have, it's this person's dream, okay? And with the King and Queen of Pentacles, I, I mean, the King and Queen of Pentacles is a true pair, okay? King and Queen of Pentacles could even be a soul tie connection. Um, but I think that you have something with some form of material asset that this person wants, okay? But I feel like it's kind of like association because Cancer, see this Queen of Pentacles here is standing tall and proud and this King of Pentacles is slunched down on the chair like, whoa, <laughs> would you look at that? You know, like, I mean, I kind of feel like, you know, you have the ship here and this person wants to come aboard, okay? They're going to want to move very quickly. They're going to want to move in. They're, they're going to want to get married. They're going to want to get engaged. And, you know, Spirit is advising you here to wait to wait, okay, um, because I, I right now this person may not be in it for the right reasons. Tell me about the hanged man and the queen of wands with the page of cups and the moon card. Yeah, they're a cheater. There and look, the devil card under the deck. This person wants to be with you for the financial aspect. They want to be with you for what you have. But eventually, if you take this person in, you will eventually catch them um, looking at, flirting with, or seeing Queen of Wands energy. So, Cancer, you're showing up here as the Queen of Pentacles, which is someone that could be older, more responsible. You know, I'm not saying the Queen of Pentacles is an ugly person, but the Queen of Pentacles is not a Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is young, fun, spontaneous, live in the moment, flashy, pictures all over social media, right? So this is someone that's into just a very different type of person. So they want to use you for what you have financially, a place to live or whatever that case may, the case may be, but then they want to go, you know, have their dessert somewhere else. So spirit is saying to not, uh, not give into this. Okay. If we're dealing with a Libra, tell me about cancer and Libra. Spirit, tell me about Cancer and Libra, please. Cancer and Libra. Cancer and Libra. Oh, we've got nostalgia. We've got defensive and we have twin flames. So Cancer, you and the Libra are on a very hardcore twin flame journey. You guys are missing each other like crazy, but not wanting to break the... Uh, stalemate, I guess. I, maybe you and this Libra are not speaking, or if you are speaking, nobody wants to give in to compromise, okay? You guys are both very defensive right now. But very strong twin flame connection between you and this Libra. The King of Wands with the Hermit. The Six of Wands, what did I say? And the Magician with the Ten of Wands. So I think that here's what's interesting, Cancer, between you and the Libra. To save face, you guys are very passionate about your arguments and claiming that you're not wrong. But then when you go in your on your side of the bed and they go on their side of the bed and you guys think about the things that were said, you actually realize it's the truth. 
Okay. Like if this person says something that you're doing wrong and you think about it and you're like, yeah, I could, I could be better. I could do better. And if you say something about this person on what they're doing wrong, they think about it and they're like, you know what? I really could do better. You know, cancer might be right about this, but then you guys wake up in the morning and here we are with the six of wands, you know, uh, yeah, you know, you might have a point, but I'm still right though. <laughs> you may have a point, but I am still right though. Okay. Um, and with the magician and the 10 of wands, that's why it's going to be very difficult to get anywhere because even if, you know, your person knows that you're making a valid point and, or if you know that your person is making a valid point, you guys don't want to admit defeat. You want to stay behind ego. Okay. But with the star card and the four of wands, I don't see this ending. I just see it being a very difficult twin flame journey. Okay. All right, Spirit, tell me about Cancer and Scorpio, please. Cancer and Scorpio, please. Cancer and Scorpio, please. Okay, so we've got past life, we've got messages, and we've got dominant. Cancer, you and the Scorpio share a past life soul contract. And I feel like this Scorpio wants to try to control you or be superior to you or dominate you in some way, shape or form. Okay. I think that with messages here, feminine and meddler, this is a Scorpio that talks bad behind your back. This is someone that's very envious of you. This is someone that tries to antagonize your life. Okay. So this could be a past life karmic situation between you and this Scorpio. We've got the two of swords. You are not in communication with this person. Three of swords. There's been betrayal or pain here. Three of cups. The six of pentacles. And the six of wands. This is somebody that may have hurt you deeply. And now they're going out with other friends or other people and talking shit on your name so that they feel better about themselves. Yeah, th this Scorpio, you know, you know what comes to mind? Um, <laughs> that saying that says when a toxic person can no longer control you, they control how other people view you. And that's what this, that's what this person is doing. That's what this person is doing because they have, they've lost control over you. They're going to go and, and spread rumors or say horrible things behind your back. Um, they're going to start to control how other people or attempt to control how other people see you. Okay. Tell me about cancer and Sagittarius, please. Cancer and Sagittarius, please. So we've got meddler in the reverse, we've got offended in the reverse, and we've got defensive in the reverse. Wow. Okay, so Cancer, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I think that there was a serious misunderstanding here. I think that you may feel like this Sagittarius said or did something behind your back. But Spirit is saying there's no reason for you to be defensive and there's no reason for you to be offended. I don't, I don't believe it really happened. There could be, you know, someone here may come in and tell you that maybe they slept with your person or something like that or whatever the case may be. It's not true. The Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles, the Star card, the Five of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Uh, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, there's a big warning here, okay? Uh, there is someone here that's very jealous of your connection, very jealous of the fact that this Sagittarius wants to keep you and hold you long term, and they're very public about it. So there is someone here that may lie, try to get you to believe a lie so that you leave. Spirit is saying to not do that to not do that. Do not believe gossip. Do not believe rumors. Do not believe anybody that you don't know personally. Don't do that. If we're dealing with a Capricorn spirit, tell me about cancer and Capricorn, please. Cancer and Capricorn. So we've got meddler. We've got career. And we've got delays. So cancer you may be dealing with a Capricorn that works a lot. Okay. Uh, this person maybe cancels on you a lot 
or they'll tell you that they're working late a lot. I feel like there is a karmic friend or family member that is putting bad shit in your ear, okay? Because you're tired, Cancer, and you're mad, and you're upset because you want to spend time with this Capricorn. Um, so I think that there's a friend or a family member here that is like they're seeing a problem and they're sticking their finger in and going like this and making it worse. They're antagonizing an issue. So just be careful with that. Too many people on a ship sink a boat, right? Four of Cups, this is you being disappointed, being told no. Nine of Swords, being upset. The World card. The Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Cancer, I think that you want a little bit more passion and romance in your connection. And I think that you're very upset when this person cancels on you or when you don't get what you want. But with the World card, there's a lesson here. And the lesson is do not bring people into your relationship. Talk to your partner about your wants and your needs. Do not involve third-party energies into your problems because you're just making... Uh, a problem worse by doing that okay spirit tell me about cancer and capricorn please no we just said capricorn cancer and aquarius tell me about cancer and aquarius please oh cancer and aquarius please Okay, so we've got Cupid, we've got delays, and we've got codependent. Cancer, you could be running into um, an Aquarius. You could be running into an Aquarius. It could be love at first sight, but then you're going to realize here that this person's broke. They don't have a job. They need a place to live, and that may be a huge uh, turn, uh, uh, turn off for you. Okay. Uh, it, it's going to stop you in your tracks. Like this person doesn't have a car. They don't have a job. They don't have a place to live. And, and it may throw off some red flags for you. Yes. Yeah, the star card and temperance. You really like this person. You feel very safe with this person, very secure with this person, but this is an Aquarius that chooses to live by the day. This, this is an Aquarius that's very irresponsible, very immature. And I think that with the queen of swords and the seven of pentacles cancer, you may pull back your energy because you're realizing that this is a project. You're taking on a project. You're taking on someone that's very immature, which means that you would have to be the parent and they would have to be the child and you're looking for a partner not to adopt a child, okay? So it, it may seem great at first until you realize who this person really is, okay? Spirit, tell me about Cancer and Pisces, please. Cancer and Pisces, please. Cancer and Pisces, please. Ooh, Cancer, there is, uh, this Pisces has a co-worker of the same sex, possibly, that they have feelings for. It could be that due to religious reasons, this person doesn't come forward. But Cancer, you may have a Pisces here that um, actually is bisexual and they have feelings for somebody that they work with, or this is someone that may tell you that they work a lot over time, uh, you know, work late at night, but meanwhile, they're meeting up with this person. The Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Emperor. Yeah, this is someone that may claim that they have a lot of work to do, that they've, they're busy, they have things to do, constantly canceling on you, and it's becoming a lot it's becoming overwhelming. And I think that it, this person has a very serious secret. Okay. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you and I will see you soon. Take care.